Hello and welcome to another episode of the Kufi Weekly and today I want to talk about Hezbollah. So if you remember last week's episode, we were filming from the border of Israel and just from the point where I was over the border, you could see a Hezbollah special operations hut, I guess. But over the last weekend, Hezbollah invited a group of journalists to the border and they held essentially war games. War games showing how they would plan to attack or invade Israel in a conflict. So there are a number of things that you have to take away from this. Firstly, if you look at some of the footage that they released, it looks kind of circusy. Jumping through fire hoops, things like that. Very performative, very theatrical. Would not give it 10 out of 10 at all. But it does show that Hezbollah are emboldened to be that close to Israel, inviting journalists and showing their military might. Also, we've got to ask, where are the Lebanese armed forces? In keeping with the UN resolution, they were meant to make sure that there are no militias on the border, that Hezbollah aren't provoking another war with the Jewish state. Yet, here is an organization, a proxy of Iran, funded by, trained, and run essentially by Iran on Israel's border, showing off their military strength, essentially issuing a threat and a challenge to the Israel Defense Forces. Now, it's really important that we remember what has happened over the last few months. We had, of course, Operation Shield and Arrow, where Israel took action against Palestinian Islamic Jihad, another Iranian proxy, another close friend of Hezbollah. But in April, the leaders of Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and Hezbollah met essentially to shore up what they call their axis of resistance against Israel. Here is a terrorist group directly financed by Iran. Here is a group that is pledged to murdering Jews wherever they are. Here is a terrorist group which is directly responsible for terror attacks as far as Argentina, Bulgaria. This here is a terrorist group responsible for the murder of American Marines in Beirut. Yet they're able to act with impunity, to display weapons and aggression openly, to attack Israeli flags as part of their little performative piece they performed. We have shown time and time again that when you coddle, when you appease or remain silent in the face of terror and Iran's aggressive intentions, all you do is embolden them. And who suffers? Right now, it's not us who is suffering, it is the people of the Middle East. It is the people of Beirut and Lebanon who live under the tyrannical influence of Hezbollah. It is the people of Iraq, the people of Yemen, the people of Syria who have all paid a heavy cost because of the emboldening of Iran. And of course, you can't forget the people of Gaza. Gaza this weekend also had rallies in support of Palestinian Islamic Jihad. During those rallies, you saw multiple images and videos of young children, three, four-year-olds, dressed up as terrorists. No children should be abused in this way, but because of our inaction, because of our silence, and because of Iran being emboldened, the children of Gaza are also suffering. There is a point where we have to draw a red line and tell Iran that their aggressive intentions, their belligerence, their constant threats are not okay. And of course, I'm not advocating for war. That should be the last option that we always explore. But sanctions need to be looked at. We need to be firm in our condemnation and we can't simply continue to appease Iran in the hope of some sort of renewed nuclear deal when we all know that Iran wasn't even complying with the original Iran deal. If we really want the Middle East to be a better place, we have to be active in preventing the suffering of innocent people in the Middle East. Innocent people who are suffering because of the Iranian regime and its proxies. This is Kasim Hafiz for the Kufi Weekly. Till next week, for Zion's sake, do not remain silent. Thanks for checking out this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe so you get a notification every time a new episode hits. And if you want to check out some of our previous episodes, and we've got some really good ones, click on one of the thumbnails and that will take you right there. And finally, if you want to know more about Kufi and the work we do, go to kufi.org to check out all the resources we have available free to you.